Welcome back for another video here, Piano Music and Repair. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a bass string on your grand piano. So first, what you want to do is you want to take your piano action out, which I'll have another video of how to do that here soon. You want to remove the action out of your piano. Um, and I have this using this as a small little music desk here. And um, we're going to go under the piano. Once you get the action out, you want to take the lid off, which the lid's over there. You know, the lid just comes off like a standard. You know, my piano, you just pull a pin out and the whole thing comes off. And then when you get under here, the string that you're replacing, there is a set of dampers over here. And you want to take whichever damper off that you're putting the string on. So if this, is, this video is mainly for a grand piano. So what you want, when you replace the string, you want to go down and there'll be a little uh, screw right here. This is the screw right here. This little dark screw right there at the top. You want to loosen that screw. You don't want to take it all the way out. You want to loosen that screw. And once you loosen that screw, your damper will come out. The, um, the string I'm replacing on this piano is the very first bass string. So once you loosen that screw, this will come right back out, right out. Um, like I mentioned earlier, don't take the screw all the way out because it can be a pain to get it fully back in. Just enough to let the wire loose to come, the damper wire to come out. So once you get all that aside, you want to um, you want to check your tuning pin. Uh, my tuning pin's in the tuning hammer right now. And um, this is the very first bass string. Like I mentioned, the tuning pin looks really good. It doesn't need replaced. Um, so my tuning pin's in pretty good condition. So um, the next thing you want to, you want to prepare your universal bass string. That's what I'm using. You want to prepare that string, which I I did that in the last video. I've had to prepare it, and I already prepared the bass string and got it all ready, as you can see right here. There's the the old piece of winding right here. And now what you want to do after you prepare the string is you're going to put the string on. And you have to be very careful doing this. Um, I'm doing the very first bass string. Now, one thing about universal bass strings, it's hard to size them correctly. Um, this is the size that we're doing right here. Pretty, you know, this string we're doing. And um, it's kind of hard to size them, so we're just going to make do with it. Um, I just need a string in here because my hammer keeps popping up. So, um, like I said, it's not perfect. This is how you do put the string on, though. So, once you get the um, your bass string prepared, what you want to do um, is the tools that we're going to be needing is we're going to be needing a tuning hammer, which that's what this is. And we're going to need your tuning pin, whether you replaced your pin or not. We're going to need your, we, you're going to need the tuning pin. And, um... And um, let's see, you're going to need gloves on because when you're going to need these type of gloves because the oils from your hands can deaden the strings, which is good. I have my thumb out of my gloves so I can work on work my camera and stuff right now. So um, so first what we're going to do is I'm um, we'll my finish put my glove on here. And the first thing that you want to do is when you take your bass string... You're going to want, I'm doing this one-handed, which it's very tricky doing this one-handed. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to size the bass string. Is you want, is you want to make sure is we're going to loop it. So as you can see here, when we put the bass string on, this loop from the hitch pin right here, what we're going to do is we're going to loop it on that hitch pin right there. We're going to set that loop in there. And you can see where the old string was. We're just going to push the wire like this. The wire is going to come to the right. If we're standing on this side of the piano. My little sister's having a tantrum. Excuse that. So we're, we're going to put the string right here. And then it's going to come to the right side in. And then it's going to come out to the left side on the other pin. And then it's going to pull. We're going to keep tension on it. And we're going to come up here. And then I'll show you what to do next with the tuning pin. I apologize about that. That's my little sister. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to do that with the string here. So what you want to do is you want to take your bass string. And um, you want to kind of try to keep it on the blanket. Because you want to keep your, your a blanket on the piano. It doesn't matter what kind of blanket. 
but you want to keep a blanket on the piano just so you don't scratch anything up. I, again, I'm, so I'm really sorry. I'm truly, badly sorry. I can't do nothing about it. So, you want to take your string and you want to fit it on that loop. You can't really see nothing because of the blanket. Let me see if I can do something here with my phone. Probably. No, there ain't no, I can't do nothing with it. So, again, I'm terribly sorry. I can't do nothing about it. So, we're going to take the string. We're going to feed it, put it on that loop right on the hitch pin. And we're going to come up and we're going to put the string through the right side. And we're going to pull the string to the left and push it to the left. And that's how you want your string to go on the piano. Just like that. And you want to keep tension on the string. And when you go up, we're going to work on the, t the tuning pin. So, um, you want to keep tension because if you don't keep tension, it can immediately pop off. Now, sometimes if you have it pushed down enough, it'll, it'll stay in its place, which I have it pushed down. And it's in its place and it's not going anywhere. So, now we can go ahead and go to the top and do um, stuff up there. So, Alrighty, so you got your wire on the loop down here. Like I mentioned, what you want to do with your loop. Now I got someone hold the camera. If I take this up, you want to put the loop right on that slot, on that hitch pin right there. And when it's on that, you can see the indention right there. You want First, you want to go to the right, go in, come out on the left. And that's how you want to do it right there. And then, now what you want to do is you want to keep a little bit of tension on it. And um, what you can do now, I looked at my tuning pin, make sure your tuning pin's good. My tuning pin is just fine. So I'm going to put my tuning pin back where it originally was. I'm going to tighten my pin. Cut it. Cut it. Already now, when you um, when you get that on there in there, you want to go ahead and just you want a little bit sticking out, but not much at all. You want just a very little bit sticking out, and then you want to put your tuning hammer on and just tighten it up and get a little bit of tension on it. This is the not the best way to put a string on, but it's one you can do at home by yourself without calling any technicians or anything like that. It's a simple way that I can do it and anybody else could can too. Alrighty, so now once you got your string through the hole, you want to turn your your uh, thing counterclockwise. So um, I already put a little bit of tension on as you can see. Here's our pin right here. And then you can plug the string in. It's still pretty loose. We're going to give it a little bit more of a tighten. Watch the phone. And like I said, this string's it's a small string, but it's just going to work. Probably not gonna sound completely right, but. Alrighty, I'm just gonna bring it to that pitch right there. Like I said, it's a small string, but it's gonna work. It's gonna have to work. So, and there you go. That's how you put the string on. Now, when you put the damper on, what you're gonna do is, um, if you're gonna down my damper here, so you're gonna take your damper, and this side of the damper is gonna face the right side of the piano. Just gonna take this, feed it through that hole, push it down. When you push it down in there, and that will rest on the string. 
and then you just get down there, tighten that same screw you loosen it up with, and then it will be on there, ready to go. So that's how you do it. That's how you put replace a single bass string on your grand piano at home. Um, it's, like I said, it's not the best option, but it is one that is available. So um, I paid about $35 for this bass string on Amazon, and um, that's how you can replace a bass string at home. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.